Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, today I want to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to um, to go from one to bring characters from one save file to another save file. I'm going to do a demonstration um, on this. I'm not actually going to do it for the next portion of my not my not so berry, um, but I'll show you guys. Um, how I did it okay so let's get out of here for a sec okay so I have all my families saved all right so to do that um, you need to go in and you need to go into CAS all right into create a sim so in create a sim if they let me click on it uh, okay so then you hit um, MC Command Center, or you, if you don't have MC Command Center, you can say Modify and CAS, and then you'll be able to do this. Um, this here is um, a new new loading screen that I pulled out. I will link it down in my description. Absolutely love this loading screen. It's different every single time you load up, which is really, really cool. So, okay. So this here is the, um, the Clark family. Okay, so to save them, you click on save and then you can click on and save them. I've already saved them, so I'm not going to worry about doing that. All right, let's get out of it. E yeah, each one's a different a different thing. It's so cool. I love it. Um, so yeah, so what we need to do, um, what I'm going to show you now is how I'm going to be pulling my not so berry challenge last generation and um beyond basically so my if it, it depends on who's alive at the end of this okay so i don't know if green gen's going to be alive and i don't know if blue gen's going to be alive but i believe blue gen will be alive so um what i plan on doing is i plan on pulling from um from blue gen right through Okay, so we're going into a new save file. All right, um, this here is their family tree right at this point. Um, so we went from Gen 7. So Gen 7 was, of course, Rosa. Rosa was a writer and all of that. Um, then we had, um, then we have Amber. And now we are on actually, and we still haven't completed Hazel. So Hazel was the green gen. Um, and then we also have here Liberty. So Liberty is the next generation. Um, she's the one taking on. We had a little bit of an issue with um, Hazel. She fell pregnant um, with with little love bug over here, um, Liberty. Um, so Liberty is gene genetically hers and um, hers and... I can't even say his name. Um, Malachi is a child by blood, but then they adopted Fletcher. So Fletcher is um, the little adopted daughter they got as a baby. Okay, so she's only ever known them as their mum and dad. Okay, so um, yeah. All right, anyway, so let's head over. What the heck is this? Oh, that's my recording tool. Um, okay, so let's go into exit to main menu i'm going to quickly do this i'm going to show you guys i do have a a save file we can delete this this is just a demonstration i can just redo it at the end anyway um so to bring new sims into a save file okay so what i plan on doing is bringing whatever house um liberty is living in into the save file and i have not done this yet so i'm going to show you how i did i'm going to do it if i was going to do it for the next portion of my next my next challenge okay so i've nearly completed the not so berry challenge i'm in love with i love love the not so berry challenge this is the fourth time that i've tried to complete it and this is the fourth time <laughs> is a charm okay so we are going to want to load up a game okay so at the moment, this is what it's called, but I really don't want to name that at that. So, oh, can I rename it now? Hang on, let's just rename it. This is The Sims in Bloom, okay? So, at the moment, this is what we're going for. We're going with The Sims in Bloom, okay? So, let's bring up the one that I have already set up to be the next save. Um, it is a little Simsy save file. I went through a heap of save files um, 
and this is the one I chose. Our little Sa Simsy save files are the best, are 100% the best. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Evergreen Harbor because I know I have a house for that. And I'm going to, first of all, evict out the Tennessees. This is not the house that we're gonna be playing in on the first day time, okay? I promise you that, okay? I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly build the house that I wanted to build um, for, no, well, the house that I've got. I know which house I've got, so, all right. So, um, sorry. It, uh, this is where, where, where the game takes forever to do anything, okay guys? It is literally the loading screen. The loading screen takes at least two to, between 30 seconds to a minute to download, okay? So, it's so annoying. All right, so, of course, no thank you. Okay, so, okay, so now I'm gonna go into, open my gallery, and I'm gonna grab, uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna grab the house that I had here originally. We're not going to, um, we're not gonna be too fussed if it's not furnished or furnished or anything like that. We start in a different day, a different time frame. I'm also gonna be setting up this calendar a little bit differently um, with the holidays. So we're gonna have Australian holidays, okay? So Australian holidays, not American holidays. Um, we will still have Thanksgiving and we will still have Easter and we'll probably have Father's Day on a different, uh, di different time of the year, have Mother's Day as well. We'll have um, also uh, school holidays on different time zones as well as well. So um, I just wanted a house to put these guys in, okay? That's all it was, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to bring in a household from where they are okay so right now they probably don't have enough money to get into that house i'll just do free real estate but okay so this here is the not so very mint gen the first generation freaking house okay uh, <laughs> okay um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on create a new family all right um you which will bring me form. into cas or create a sim and um, whoops the daisy's wrong one then i go click in open get open open gallery and this will bring up all my saves okay all the save stuff okay so what we're going to do now is going to place household we're going to replace all right now this will do them at the current at the current money they have everything like with all of their character values everything with all their stuff okay now just going to change their photo because it's a different photo we'll just do that one okay so then we're going to place them down all right onto the lot that I want them on, okay? So this is just so then that way you've got like, you can, this is how you do it, okay? But the issue that we have, okay, is they can't afford it, that's all right, control C, free real estate on, all right? And then we can click on the house they are gonna move into. We want it fully furnished and then it will load into the household with them on. That is how easy it is to put a new, from an old, from the mint, from a one safe file to another without causing too much issues. Now, if you want to have line of successions and all of that, then you'll add the families and then you can go in with, if you do have MC Command Center, I recommend this mod for everything. This is the only mod if you ever, if you don't like mods, but you want a mod, like you want to have a mod, but you don't want to have a stack of mods. MC Command Center is one of the better mods. It is actually one of the best mods because you can edit the game to suit you, meaning everything from whatever, everything, everything is going to be is set up for that. Okay. You could change so much. Okay. So while this pla is placing down. Okay, so they're going to be placed down. Perfect. And look at that. Now, they're not set up for, um, don't ignore all this, ignore all this. This is not going to be part of it. Um, they're not actually clothing set up for this environment because they're actually set up for Mount Cobrainy in my old save. But, so they, this is their... This is where they are. Now, I will now go in and I will check 
each of them have their their jobs still. So each of these two me- peoples have their jobs, okay? So they've like they've got all their jobs and they've got all their skills and everything like that from the previous save file, which kind of works well, okay? I love that fact, okay? We also have little Miss Liberty. She hates it already. All right, so that is how you e- export like for me anyway, I do it this way because then that way it's a fresh save file. It's not an old save file, okay? Now, what I then do, I'm just going to save and manage well. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm actually going to delete this whole entire save file. And I'm going to create a new one when it is time. I just wanted to show you guys how to actually do it. The easiest way for me, so then that way it's not bombarded with so many things. Um, all right, so let's go back to main menu, um, and I'll delete this, okay, I'll delete this one, because in that way we can start with a fresh save file again, okay, so every single time that you want to create, say you want to bring that, the last 10 generations over, the best way to do that, and I'll be quite honest, all right, um, load game for a minute, hang on, load game. Hang on, let's just, this one here. How do I fucking delete again? I I cannot remember how to do this shit. Sometimes I don't know how to do it. Okay, it's probably because I am actually on it. Okay, so let's go to the Not So Buried Challenge. I save as, okay? So what I do is if I want to bring this, just play off the same save file, which I don't want to because I have used 10 generations worth. A lot of, a lot of the Sims are starting to look a little bit fucked meaning their CCs are starting to look shit. They're like, you know, they're starting to look a little bit inbreded. I'm going to be quite honest with you, okay? So, <laughs> well, that's the truth, okay? I'm really sorry, but that's the truth, okay? All right. Um, I will go in and I'll delete that one eventually. But anyway, so this is the actual, the not so very challenge save file. Um, the reason why I want to keep it that, like, keep it, what I've done in every single time that I've done a, I've done a save at the end, like a save to start the next generation, I've done a new save, technically. So green generations on their own green generation save. And then that way, then that way when it comes time for the blue gen, blue gen will have their own save. So then that way, if it, that way, if, if, if something happens, to the blue gen save, I've got backup of it, technically, or the green gen, or the pink gen, okay, so I've got like a stack of like generations all set up, um, like all the, like everything, I think from like level 7 I started doing that, so um, no, level 8 I started doing that because I was noticing that my game was starting to lag a little bit, so um, saving it on a new save file actually worked out fairly well. But, um, but yeah, so, um, I love this new save loading screen. It's so cool. Um, I've had it for a little while, but, you know, I love it. Okay, so we are in the, um, of course, the Clark household, technically the not so very household. Um, this is the house. Um, now, this is not um, a house I built. I just decorated it. Um, I'm pretty much done with with freaking building at this point because um, I've built so many of these houses that we have in. Oh, look, look a little uh, bug over there. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got... Work hard. Study hard's already on for her. Okay, anyway, so I'm not going to go in and I'm not playing this right now. I just wanted to show you guys the um, the way that you can have your save files set up so if you want to transfer from, but you want to use a character, say you wanted to use the a character from, say, one thing that you made like months and months ago, right? But you wanted to use that, like, you, you, you know, you've got a 10 generation legacy and you want to just to keep it at the lev- level of legacy that it is, right? You can do that. <laughs> you can do that, okay? So um, it is quite easy. Um to set up houses 
and different saves and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to exit back out. I'm going to try and delete this thing. And I will talk to you guys all next time. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I didn't want to like bombard you guys with too much information. But yes, this is how you do it. This is how you get your save files to work a little bit better for you but also um, downloading actual save files from other people is really really good because they do a lot of work so um to do them the ones that i would suggest you get is called the ultimate save file absolutely brilliant but the problem with that one is that it is a little laggy on like normal computers like not gaming laptop like i have trouble on my gaming laptop which is made for this okay but Anyway, so anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. All right, let's delete that one. I will bring, this is the actual save file here. So what, um, what I will do is I will bring this one back up and I will play this one and then save it and save as and all that, okay? So what do I mean, okay, is that this one here was the peach gen, but I accidentally saved it by accident under the green. So technically everything... Peach is done already, so if I needed to bring her back, I could. But this is before she had any of her children, so like before she had Liberty and stuff. So what I normally do is with that is I will then save as and save a secondary one quickly and have a backup of the gen. Of the gen. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.